Good morning, everyone. It's Robert from On My Turntable. Hope you're having a great morning this morning. It is Wednesday morning, as always, a coffee kind of morning. Hope everyone's doing well. The second time I'm doing this, <laughs> I started doing the video, got about 10 minutes in, sneezed like hell, so I did restart again. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, um, I want to continue my part three of the F's through my vinyl collection from A to Z, finally getting back to my vinyl collection here. Um, had a few things to show you. Still got a couple more things to show you, but I'll wait and do that another, another day. Uh, I really wanted to wrap up the F's here today, so it's going to be a little bit more than 10, but I'll try and get through these as, as quickly as possible. So, right off the bat, a cool, fun band. I've listened to this album a couple times. i got to get back and listen to it again. Uh, quirky, funny, um, they blow up ukuleles on stage. Weird, weird, funny uh, lyrics. This is the fabulous Poodles. Okay, that's their album, Think Pink. It's on the Epic label. Uh, these guys are a pre New Wave band formed in 1975 um, from England, I believe. Uh, they tour with bands like uh, Meat Loaf and Shanana and Tom Petty and Bill Bruford and Chuck Berry, all kinds of stuff. But yeah, blowing up ukuleles on stage. You gotta love that type of thing. Um, I've only got a couple of this uh, from this guy. Uh, I loved him in, in uh, Humble Pie. His solo career, he was big in the day, but he he's kind of just kind of disappeared. Uh, uh, Mr. Peter Frampton. This is a self-titled album on the A&M label. Um, this was uh, 1975 release. The last studio album before he put out uh, that huge, huge live album in Frampton Comes Alive. Okay, I also have a remastered CD version of that, which I listen to more uh, of that than I do of the vinyl, actually. Um, on the studio album, you got Show Me The Way, Baby I Love Your Way. Um, decent album, decent album for sure. Of course, this was huge when it came out. Uh, his first double live album, <clears throat> um, probably the most one of the most successful live albums of that era. Um, has it held up? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You got Show Me The Way, Baby I Love Your Way, Do You Feel Like We Do. You got The Voice Box, uh, which was an, uh, almost a new thing at the time. Uh, but uh, yeah, cool stuff. Cool stuff. Um, I'm glad I have it. I don't listen to it all that much, but I'm glad I have it. A um, couple of great uh, albums from Canadian band Frozen Ghost. It's their debut album. Great alternative band from uh, Toronto, formed in uh, 85. Um, and uh, big hit, Should I See You. Then I've got their second album, Nice Place to Visit. Um, cool, cool stuff. It's really, uh, this is 1988 release. Um, cool music. It's, it's enjoyable. Um, and of course it's Canadian. <laughs> what else can I say? As well as this band here. I need to get more of this one. Um, these guys were huge. This is a five man electrical band. Of course, famous for the big hit signs. Yes, the original, uh, artist of the, of the, um, of the song Signs. Of course, you got absolutely right. I'm a stranger here. Uh, this is 1973 Sweet Paradise. Uh, not too many hits on this one, but still a great, uh, great album. Um, these guys are from um, Ottawa. Ottawa, capital of Canada. But uh, cool, cool stuff. Cool stuff. Uh, this next one, uh, he was a rocker before he came a a huge country artist. This is Kenny Rogers in the first edition. This is Greatest Hits. Yes, Kenny Rogers was a rocker at the time. Um, and, uh, of course, you got the cool look of Kenny with the glasses and the big beard. Um, some country elements to it, of course. Ruby, don't take your love to town. Something's burning. Just dropped in to tell, just dropped in. Uh, tell it all, brother. 
uh, heed the call, Mama's waiting, Ruby, Reuben James, um, but you know I love you, I believe in music and love woman. Greatest, uh, greatest hits from uh, Kenny Rogers and the first edition. Uh, this next one, uh, <laughs> this was in a box of uh, free albums. And I said, who the hell are these guys? Who the hell are these guys? This is the Fugs. Okay. Um, reprise label. Kind of a political-based band. Um, formed way back in 1964. Um, you've got, uh, poets, uh, Ed Sanders and, uh, Thule, uh, Kupferberg. Um, you got rock, garage rock, psychedelic rock. Uh, this is 1968's, uh, um, um, Tenderness Junction. It's just a <laughs> weird stuff, but it's, it, it's catchy. Weird stuff, but it's catchy. The Fugs, the Fugs. Um, cool English rock band, um, folk rock band, folk elements like, uh, uh, old English folk. This is Fairport Convention, um, nine. This is their, obviously their ninth album. I gotta get more of these guys. Um, but, uh, it's just nice relaxing music every once in a while to throw it on. Uh, and then the 1973 release and then, uh, um, their, um, 10th album, Rising for the Moon, by Fairport. This is on the Island label. You don't see that Island label too often. Uh, 1975 released their 10th album. Um, really, really good. Of course, the famous Fleetwood Mac, uh, with that huge loss of Christine McVie uh, in the latter part of uh, 2022. Um, I've got uh, a lot of their stuff on box sets, uh, their early stuff anyway, uh, but I do have one of the originals. This is Bear Trees, uh, one of the earlier releases from uh, um, Fleetwood. Of course, formed way back in 67 uh, by Peter Green and Jeremy Spencer and Mick Fleetwood with uh, John McVie. That was basically the original band members. Um, 1972's Bear Trees, the sixth album. And the last to feature uh, Danny Kerwin on it. Some put, put tape up there, which sucks. Um, I've seen a few better copies, and one day I'll pick them up. But um, once I clean it up, maybe some goo gone to get rid of that tape. Uh, the album still sounds great, but I got I have it on remastered CD. Uh, and then you've got um, uh, Heroes Are Hard to Find. Mick Fleetwood always has weird photos <laughs> on the cover of his albums. That's on the reprise label. Uh, Heroes are hard to find. Uh, the ninth album, 1974 release. Last to feature Bob Welch, uh, who I like. I like the Bob Welch era of, of uh, Fleetwood. Uh, he'd be eventually replaced with uh, Lindsey Buckingham and Stevie Nicks. Um, probably the one of the best albums ever. Definitely of 77. Um, it's got to be one of the top. I don't know. Where would you rank this one? Top 20, top 30. Rumors. Every hit is a, every song is a, is a hit on this one. Still enjoyable. Um, this is on the uh, Warner Brothers label. I mean, just hit after hit after hit on this one. And it's, again... Still remains one of my favorite albums. Um, 11th uh, studio album, multi-platinum, 1977 release. Um, it'll always remain their pinnacle, I think, of their career. Um, then you've got uh, um, Tusk, their follow-up. Wasn't this successful? Became a double album. Um, still enjoyable, still enjoyable, um, but, uh, yeah, Tusk, Tusk was, uh, uh, the 12th album, 1979 release, then I have, uh, their live album, this is a really good album as well, they do a great live show, 
uh, any videos I've seen of these guys, any um, 1980 release, their first live studio album. And then we go from uh, Fleetwood to Mr. John Fogarty. Of course, the famous lead guitarist, lead singer, uh, original member of Creedence, had a fairly successful, had, has a fairly su successful solo career. This is 1975 debut, um, self-titled. Um, you got Rock All Over the World, uh, which was also covered by Status Quo, which is kind of cool. I love Status Quo as well. Um, their, his biggest hit, probably, his biggest commercially successful album, Centerfield. Uh, huge, huge uh, 80s album, 1985 release. You got uh, Old Man Down the Road and, and the big hit Centerfield uh, with that famous bat sound, crack of the bat. Well, probably one of the coolest album covers. This is Eye of the Zombie. Doesn't necessarily look like a zombie. It looks like a, a, a leopard or something. But anyway, um, fourth studio album, 1986 release. I got the change in the uh, change in the weather. Um, wasn't that a woman? Um, soda pop. And then finally, um, the last one I have of him. But I've, I've got a couple of CDs of his as well, but just showing vinyl. This is uh, John Fogarty, Deja Vu, uh, all over again. That cool photo. Um, this is uh, it's still got the hype sticker on it. First time on vinyl. Uh, I will walk with you, Deja Vu, all over the all over again, and Honey Dew. Uh, 2004 release, the sixth studio album by Mr. Fogarty. So there you have it, guys. Uh, there's the F's wrapped up. I'll uh, probably on the weekend I'll I'll continue on with the G's, and then we'll just keep on going. Okay. Have yourself a great rest of the day. Love you all. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye now.